I've been doing pretty well on my training at the minute. I'm actually down to 14.4% body fat right now. And since then, I've been pretty consistent, actually. You can see it's normally rounding off at about 14.4%. Some plateaus, some dips, as to be expected with any progress. But guys, this week, I've been fairly sick. I've had some kind of weird flu slash stomach bug. So you can see, round about here, I stooped to as low as 13.4, one whole percent lower. Now, that would be good because I'm still shredding, but I've also lost a lot of, like, fat-free body weight as well which unfortunately means I've lost some muscle mass, I've lost some gains, which is never okay. So this was my physique two months ago. Uh, you can see I was a lot fuller back then, but I was also not training core much as well, as you can probably tell. Now, this wasn't exactly my dream physique. I still had a bit of fat to lose, but compared to my physique this morning, I'm looking a little bit more depleted. Now, I think somewhere between the two would have been a happy medium. Now, I still look pretty good here. Um, I still have a lot of muscle mass there, but you can see when I turn around, my rib cage is looking a bit skeletal for my liking. I think it's round about this point in the video. Um, my back looks okay, my shoulders look rounded, but there, when I turn around in three, two, one. This point here, you can see my rib cage is looking a little bit off. Uh, right about there. So one thing for it, really. Cheat day. Cheat day. Alright guys, we're here. It's been a very long day. Looking forward to this. So guys, Pizza Bello is a local takeaway. Now, I don't normally like takeaways because I think it's just greasy main food and you can't even track it. But to be honest, tracking is the least of my concerns today. I just want to eat because like I say, I've lost a shitload of weight and I want to get some gains back inside my body. So Pizza Bello wrap is basically a chicken wrap, but instead of bread, it's pizza. So guys, without much further ado, because I've been waiting for this all day, let's tuck in. Mm. Oh my God. It's so hot. <laughs> mm. It's so good though. So guys, you can see a bit of a deconstruction there. It's just straight up pizza full of chicken. Oh my God, it's the best thing that's ever passed my lips. Mm. Just spent a lot of money today. This was like eight quid on the donut, which by the way, right here, that was three. But you know what? Mm. I just found some pepperoni. <laughs> So I could go behind all the science of like reverse diet and cheat meals and diet breaks and all that sort of stuff. But I think sometimes it's just good for the soul to just have a good cheat meal once in a while. I haven't had a full pizza in probably the best part of a year, just because I just can't fit it in my calories and I'd rather just not bother playing catch up over the following days. So I just don't bother, but guys, I can feel this like touching my soul. There's definitely some PBs waiting to be happening tomorrow. <laughs> Good God. Yes, y'all, we are one half down. So a few friends, when I mentioned this, they said it was like, whoa, it's not for babies. Even the menu says that it's huge, but I don't know if it's just because I'm ravenously hungry from losing so much weight this week, but this is a double. Dude, why did I bring a fork? <laughs> oh, guys, guys, I can't stress how good this is. <laughs> <laughs> this 
There's so much chicken too. There's so much more than a wrap. It's more of like a calzone. I mean, it is a rolled up pizza. So of course it is, but again, that is absolutely nuts. Now I'm just gonna take a piece off the pizza because again, I've not had pizza by itself for a while. And once I step on the scales tomorrow, I'll probably scare myself off pizza for a while, but you guys remember, weight and fat loss isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's always good to hit steady progress, but it's also good to stop once in a while when you need to kind of get your breath back, so to speak. You also want to get some kind of cheap meal done once in a while, just to help your enjoyment. Yeah, it's going to slow down progress, but end of the day, we're not going on stage as Mr. Olympia anytime soon, so it's fine. Have a cheap meal once in a while. Finish him. Mm. Guys, I exaggerate very little when I say that was a spiritual experience. I've never needed something so much in my life. <laughs> no, again, like I say, losing weight is all fun and games, but you know, when you're in the gym and you feel depleted, you feel weak, that's when it's time to take some action. Um, and again, to prove you guys, obviously about like the educational side of things, there's no such thing as a snow, snow? There's a slowed down metabolism, because as you can see outside, very dark, it's actually just gone. 20 past 10, I'm having this insane amount of carbs right now, and I guarantee I'll be fine tomorrow. I said snow because I was looking forward to this. So as you can see guys, this is the Tim Hortons snowball surprise. Kind of shaky, kind of rattly. So as you can see, it's had a bit of a bump in transit, but it's still a surprise. So let's see what's inside. Oh. My God, <laughs> it's full of things. Mm. I thought it was gonna be like marshmallow. <gasps> this fudge. Bro, how do I eat this? <laughs> There's one way, of course. Mm. There's jam inside as well. Oh my God, dude. There's also little stars. Oh, there's a lot going on with this donut. Oh man, they really hook you up with that white chocolate as well. Look how thick that is. I just finished the Bake Off finale. This has already reminded me of that like domed cake week. This is so messy. God damn, I love fudge. So guys, let's be real. Um, Tim Hortons is pretty sick because like, some of the donuts only sort of 300 calories. So I think maybe if I have like, you know, one less protein bar and slightly more egg whites, I can make up the calories elsewhere to have a Tim Hortons donut. But this one is 530 calories by itself. And it really tastes like that as well. That is to say, it tastes like heaven. It's not jam. Oh my God, this is decadent. Is that alcohol? Bro, I've got clients tomorrow. It is, it's like Bailey's Irish cream, dude. I'm out here partying on a school night. All right, guys, it is the morning after the day before and I feel like a grease ball. <laughs> So it's about five past six right now, uh, Wednesday morning, and I actually do feel really good. I feel like a lot more human today. I feel like I've got a bit more energy. Although what, today is the first day that I've ever intermittent fasted. Now that's not because I'm desperately trying to get back to the body weight I was before, because there was a spike this morning, obviously, but it's just because I feel so full. I am so full of like food from last night. Uh, pizza does just kind of like blah in your stomach. It's just sitting there right now like a food baby. So I feel pretty good, let's say. I do think I needed that cheat day. Um, but again, guys, I'm just gonna run back some few points. I actually made these earlier on in my burrito challenge video, which actually never happened, unfortunately. But So basically, a cheat 
meal is better than a cheat day because I think a cheat day can get out of hand very, very quickly. You could smash like 8,000 calories in a day and that would take you about a week or something to kind of like take it back down. Whereas last night, I ate as much as I could and most importantly, as much as I wanted. And that's probably only really came at about 3,000 calories, which again, does sound like quite a lot. That is my full day. But having that, it's also kind of like easy to undo. Um, let's see, I'm gonna train like hell a day. But what's gonna happen guys is you can either, after a cheat day, go back to maintenance, which you can find online. Uh, there's a website called TDEE Calculator, which I'll link down below. And that helps you find your maintenance. So you can either go back down to that one and just ride it out and you'll eventually see the spike come back down. Or you can go in a mild deficit, which is basically one, two, three, four, probably no more than 500, less than your maintenance. And that's gonna speed things up a little bit, but obviously you do risk getting a bit hungry, get peckish, and probably ordering another pizza. Now, the main thing is guys, if like me, you suffered in the past with an eating disorder, I think the temptation after a cheat day is to see the scale and think, oh my God, what have I done? But realistically, like, end of the day the whole reason that we are getting into shape is to enjoy life it is about that balance it's so cliched it's so trite it's so blah but we are here to enjoy life we are here for a short time now i only heard about that rap about a month ago and every day i've been thinking oh my god that pizza rap that does sound good you know and then as soon as Tim Hortons advertised that snowball surprise donut, that's realistically only going to be here for another month. You know, I'm always going to be thinking, ah, oh, is today the day? Could I go and get it? Mm, it is just right there. And the whole time I would be kicking myself thinking about this donut. And then after January the 1st, it's gone. And here's me thinking, oh, I wish I got a donut, you know. And it sounds lame, but it probably would have haunted me for months to come and maybe forever thinking, uh, you know, I'm on my deathbed. I regret getting with that girl. I regret that tattoo, but I really regret not getting that donut. And you know, I think life's about seizing opportunity. So at the low, low cost of training a little bit harder for the rest of the week, I think, you know, it's a small price to pay. And to be fair, most of the weight increasing is gonna be just salt, water retention, and probably just volume of food because of aforementioned food baby. Now, I also said train like hell because after a cheat day, you were gonna have so much more energy than you normally would. So you don't wanna waste it, man. You don't wanna just like sit there on this like potentially like bench press personal best. That could happen right now. If you just say, oh, I'm too full, I don't want you. You could get an amazing workout in. So I think definitely after a hard little cheat meal, go and train like hell. You won't regret it. So guys, once again, it has been Joey Taylor PT. I'm um, hoping to feel a bit more human in these next videos now that I'm a bit more back to normality. But guys, thank you so much for all the support you've given me the last few days. I know I've been posting on social media about how ill and how under the weather I've been. And you guys have been amazing keeping me company. So guys, until the next video, Joey Taylor out.